conditions. What's it going to bring for Thomas Rotner up front? Yeah, we'll soon find out. Here come the lights. First light, second light, third light, fourth light, and the fifth light. And it's pedal to the metal, and it's go, 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 go. Thomas Ronhart getting off the line. He got away well, but so did Barry Burraman. And looking at Hassan Matthias van Urban coming in as well. Jana Watmir switches to the inside, but inside line for Barry Burraman gives him the edge against Thomas Ronhart. Neck and neck, they go in towards turn two. It is Burraman on top. Ronhart in behind now. He has lost P1 on, for the back. He certainly is. Jana Watmir right on his tail, leading up towards turn one. The Flying Dutchman down the inside. Now this is where Yano is usually meant to be. We've seen him here in the past, and now so with Jake Benham. Benham now back by just over a tenth of a second. Nose to tail between the entire grid is now Lucas Blakely. Goes to remove this time on Yoni Tormala. Down the inside now, towards the next left. And turn will have a huge chance now, uh, coming through down towards turn 12. And as he does so, side by side with the Alpha Tari, the two scooter ears together. Is it going to be enough for Brendan Lee? It is just about enough. A little bit of contact as a result. And it's it allows... dealt with, unfortunately, is over seeing Brendan Lee starting to fight here with Matthias van Erven. Brendan Lee now moving up into fifth place. Really, really impressive Ferrari visit right here now. for Brendan yeah, Brendan's starting to find the pace, and Jarno's in. Jarno is boxing. He, I think, does he feel that he's been held up by Barry Borman at the moment and get himself some clean air and respond maybe to Yoni Tormala. So Otmir in and is coming onto the intermediate tyres, as well as Thomas Ronar, Wilson Hughes, and Matthias van Erven. They're all starting to come in now. So now the guys who started on the intermediate tyres are starting to now feel the effects as they come around the last corner now. Let's see, Fabrizio Donoso, where does he come out relative to all this? How much time did he end up losing after all of that? Coming down towards the first corner Otmir is clear and out but as you can see now Fabrizio Donoso is going to get by them he's going to be fighting with Ronhar as they come round the first corner there's Donoso around the outside of turn one and Donoso does get in front Caraton slots for Boroman on the left hand side as they come up towards turn one but it's not going to work out for Barry Boroman into the net race lead goes Jarno Otmir and overtakes Barry Boroman by about a second so he's made the undercut work and he's back on top George Jarno Otmir net race lead Brendan Lee now going ahead there of Patrick Saipos side by side heading through in towards turn 12 he gets a nose in front Brendan Lee into ninth place Saipos now Lee's reduced to like 10 the man on paces here we go now Thomas Ronar on for Brizio de Nose around the outside goes the young pretender on the inside and Ronar does he get the move stopped and then he does defend the apex man, incredible it is coming out again and again and again we're further back as well de Nose, who is licking his wounds as well as now Brendan Lee goes for the send here on Yoni Tormala down the inside as they make their way down towards turn two. The Alpha Tauri coming back at the Scuderia Ferrari as they now go side by side through this string of curves and sections. But Brendan Lee, he on, holding... he's on the attack. Here comes Brendan Lee on Marcel Kiefer, going to go for the overtake. Pulls alongside the Red Bull late on the brakes into the left hander in front. There's a little bit of squaffle going on there. Wilson Hughes going side by side. Will really go for the move here? Yes, he does up the inside of the left hander. Wilson Hughes leaves him room. He'll have the run on the outside line as well as they get on the power side by side round the long turn around here surely not Brendan Lee all the way around the outside of the long triple right hander Brendan Lee braving it out around the outside of that corner and the makes of Alvaro Caraton he's flying up to the rear of him now here comes Brendan Lee again up the inside of Alvaro Caraton into the left hander and there's absolutely nothing the Caraton, Caraton could do about that and up to P5 goes Brendan Lee Caraton feels the need to go defensive Wilson Hughes now on the attack on the Spaniard will he go for the overtake he does go to the inside now the Scotsman Caraton on is so late on the brakes as well leaves him just enough room to work with Wilson Hughes now trying to go around the outside of Alvaro Caraton to the next part of the right hand there trying to make it work a little sweet and try to the inside for the next part of the corner Caraton leaving just enough room Hughes now up the inside Caraton looking for that switch back through the next part of the corner gets on the power and in comes Yara Watmere from the race lead and looking very very comfortable now he'll swap onto the slick tyres Barry Borum I'm going to follow him in in just a second's time there he goes Thomas Ronard will he follow suit as well Yes, he does. Here he and comes Brito. on Wilson Hughes, using all the battery. Moves going to the inside now. Wilson Hughes is defenceless on the inside now. Yoni Tormala getting past Wilson Hughes. Wilson Hughes with the switch back will have the outside, and that might work for him on the braking zone now. Tormala, yes. as he now opens up the DRS, power on overtake. Here comes the who comes the machine? Danny Moreto 
though as they make their way down through towards turn 12. Moreno moves it's ahead. counter on Danny Moreno as they come through the next right this time. He'll try it though as they go neck and neck, wheel to wheel. And it is the medium tyres of Matthias van Urban coming into their own side by side. Still they remain as now they still go round this next left before then visiting turn Trying 16. Trying to get by Danny Moreno. He's alongside as they come down to the braking zone for the left hand. They're going to go late on the brakes, get himself back into the point. Came out in force after the last round. Knocked out in Q1. Started in 17th. Recovered tonight. He doubted himself and everyone else doubted him. But he certainly stood by himself. Comes round towards the last corner. One for the final time. He's back. The Flying Dutchman, Jana Watmeer, wins the US Grand Prix. Barry Boerman in second place and just about to come across the line right now. It's very close, but Thomas Ronhar gets on the podium in front of Fabrizio Donoso. Brendan Lee crossed the line for a fifth.